Ahoy. I am gonna re-record all the vocals for Majesty tonight. I've decided. I'm in a better mood. <laughs> Just go back from the gym. Let's get it. I am lying through my teeth on my A few inches later. Sounds so bad. Both of you are kind of shitty, don't you know? Yeah, I know which one's better because you're both shit. Oh, fucking shit vocals. Absolutely not. No way. No way. I love seahorses. No fucking way. Nope. Just got back from class. And nobody's home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, something's been happening recently to me. I watched the Get Back documentary. You wanna play on the roof? I do. I learned a lot from that documentary. Namely, it's okay to do a million gazillion fucking takes. Even when you're, you know, been going at it for a really long time, you can just keep doing more. And that I don't need to take myself or anything too, too seriously. I always have a hard time with that one because, you know, poverty, inequality, just injustice, the state of things in general. The fact that some people are constantly in pain gets to me, you know? And that's why I take things so seriously is because some people are in constant torment and that just does not sit well with me. At the end of everything being done and said, I can't do anything about a lot of it. I can just use my voice and hopefully one day my money and Give it a good crack. Let's leave it at that and hear this absolute shit fest. I didn't even know that was happening. I mean, this on its own, all right? I have this problem where like, I have such a hard time deleting vocals. Like, even though I don't like them and I don't want to keep them, something in me is like, don't delete them. I think it's the hoarder in me. What I want the most out of this recording session is the dynamics and the emotion and or like the heart of it. Like what I was going for, what I was going through. You mean everything to me, say it's me. So that was actually so bad that it's not worth keeping, actually even at all. So and now I'm gonna do for real, that was a joke. Um, I was kidding. Say I'm lying for my teeth, my teeth on my knees, when they say, say. All right, come on then, let's get to it. You mean everything to me. Oh my god, these were on the wrong input! Fuck me! You mean everything to me? You mean everything to me? You mean everything You mean everything You mean everything to me? You're in the name of your scream. You're in the name of your scream. I'm trying not to breathe. You're in the name of your scream. Like, that's not at all what I'm going for, literally at all. That's the worst thing I've literally ever heard in my entire fucking life. All those vocals I just sang, delete for all, out of my sight forever. I never want to hear that again. I know I'm singing poorly, but is that really the problem? Ignore how bad it sounds. Hear what it's supposed to sound like, you know? That's what I do. So sour. myself spin in circles on these songs and no longer will I do that. I think I've been afraid to finish them and doubting my ability to do so at all. So I now have a list of things I'm gonna do that will lead to the end of the song. If I do the things on the list, the song will be finished. One, create the project that I will use to finish the mix. Right now I have, I think, five separate entire logic project files of Majesty and I have recorded the vocals like a million times and there's only one vocal performance I like and it was like the first one I did essentially and I'm gonna keep that one and it's not my strongest one and I don't even think it sounds industry standard or anything but it's my favorite one it captures the vibe of the song and like my intention and that's 
ultimately the most important thing to me rather than like is it gonna sound good on a radio maybe my priorities are out of whack but the other vocal performances make me cry the second thing i'm gonna do is create a list of changes and i'm gonna execute those changes and i'm gonna rewatch two videos on mastering and get a master and then i'm gonna ask my friend okay and then i'm gonna let it be and i think this will be the first song that i put out Holy shit. Just gonna leave my emotions out of it. I don't know what Majesty 3 is. What was I on? Um, I'm gonna delete Majesty 2 because I don't know what it's there for. This OG Majesty is like a good one. I'm just gonna leave that one like untouched. I'm gonna work with Majesty 3. So I have all the tracks now. This is something I should have done such a long time ago. Now? We make the list of changes. Okay, I have my list of changes and I will just chip away at them one by one. And if I like get overwhelmed, I'm gonna go take a walk. Seven things I had to do, I already finished two of them. See? Affirm the progress. I have to like hold my hand through this process. It's like such a big dream. It's like super fucking overwhelming. Like I'm staring at Daft Punk and John Lennon. Glass Animals is in my heart. The next time you hear this, the percussion is gonna be a lot louder. Percussion check. Daryl Wick check. Herb on the snare check. Fix up first bass note. Cross that shit out because can't do it. I could go get another sub bass that does that. Why don't I just do that? Dumbass. All right, that's all sounding a lot better actually. I'm kind of doing it, huh? Um, I do have to work on the vocals and especially this end bit, which I'm just so just terrified to. <laughs> All right, I'm officially melodying all the vocals in the track. I really like the vibe of my vocal performance. That didn't feel good saying, but that's the truth. So I didn't like want to tinker with it too much, but like some just had some blatantly sour notes that just, you know, oh, now we listen. That actually, that little intro right there, the way I sang that, it's, you know, it's not at all by any means perfect, but the way I sang that, is the reason that I like this entire take of vocals and how each one comes in. Yeah, that definitely sounds like shit. I'm gonna go through and change all of this into my new strings and horns that I bought from Spitfire for $30. That's way different. That's starting to sound a lot fucking better. That's actually really nice in a way I wasn't expecting because I've put my new strings on my other songs and they do not behave the same. But this actually sounds really good, I think. <laughs> We're in the final stretch. I'm like, pedal to the metal. It's Tuesday, January 25th, and I decided that I kind of want to put this out on my birthday, which is March 5th. But school just started up again yesterday. I bought a band. I'm in a band now. I'm working specifically on that horn section. It's not like, it's going horribly. Um, that's fucking insane, actually. That end bit is just like, I've got so much competing with. And what's crazy is that like, it feels like kind of an empty song, you know? Like, it feels like there's not that much competition. But then at the end, it's like everything just went to war. Too many layers happening with these horns. So I have to pick my faves. See, like, like I, some of this like, old stuff has to come out. This is just an octave right here. They're not very dynamic and that's like the problem is they're not like, interesting to listen to. God damn. I don't know if I should have somebody else do it. Like, they, like truthfully, it could just be like, oh my god, why didn't I do this all What is it gonna take, that like, extra 10% to like, push it? Yeah, that shit was it. And now it's something completely different. Now it's something. You know, that was the old, that's just the stock, you know, you can tell it sounds almost like plastic. These new ones, they sound like 
they're actually real instruments, but they like they're tentative. Uh, I gotta get professional help. <laughs> gotta get this done in one week, and I'm on day eight of seven. Things gone to shit. My vocals are completely off the beat. They just magically shifted themselves. They just play where they want to play. This isn't even. I'm not even in control of my own work. It's kind of in control of itself. Kind of having like a life of its own that I'm not, you know, privy to. So. I gotta go. This has really been a challenge. So today is Sunday, March 20th. I've been through hell and back. And I mean in life, not even in this. This fucking too, but you know, I wanted this song to come out March 5th. And the mix is in shambles. My life is shambles. No, it's not. I I'm doing pretty good. I I'm, you know, like all things considered, but I'm fucking determined. If it is the last thing I do, I'm gonna mix this goddamn song. And so anyways, I went to my friend's house. He went through my entire mix with me, pointed out a lot of things that are gonna help. So I am just implementing all of those. You can see I'm just plugging in the mode. I can get a really thick, rich sound out of this. Oh, by the way, I have COVID again. I'm not even kidding. I literally have COVID for the third time. I had COVID in December. I got my booster in February. I have COVID in March. Done. By the way, I'm not vegetarian anymore, and let me tell you why. That soy processed fucking fake vegan meat I was consuming by the bucket load fucked me into oblivion. Like, I had no energy, I was volatile, my hormones off the chart, I could not even walk up the stairs some days. Like, I felt like shit. That shit is so bad for you, you have no idea what's in it. I couldn't even think. Like, literally, I'd be sitting in class and I wasn't sure if the teacher was speaking English. I was like, why am I not understanding? I asked a friend who's a big nutritionist and he was like, you need brain food, which comes in the form of meat, salmon. I was like, but the environment. He was like, you wanna feel like shit all the time? I was like, true. I source it as best as I can. I'm not completely sold on this bass sound. I'm just trying it out. DM'd somebody that does like the horns and like orchestra sections for big people. I've been following him for a year and I just thought to reach out to him. He's a big deal, but I'm expecting him to help me and this is all gonna work out because that's the secret to life. You just expect that it's gonna work out. You see, you expect you're gonna get where you're going. And yeah, there's gonna be like bumps and shit along the way, but like you're gonna get where you're going and you need to accept help. That's something I have real trouble doing. Even when it's inconvenient to this for, for someone else, you're worth the cost. You're worth the inconvenience. That's something someone said to TikTok and that's how it's gotta be. Cause that's how I'm gonna make this happen. There's just you and what you feel inclined to do and what speaks to your soul and what sets it on fire. And then your decision to go do that thing. And it really just is a decision. You either decide to do it or you decide not to. How do you think this sounds? Could be better. Back to the Moog. For the bass. Yeah, I haven't found a good bass sound actually all day. I've just kind of been doing this. It's four o'clock. I need to reenact what just happened. Yes! You DM me. You DM me back. And you sent me an email. I told you it was gonna work out. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! This song just might actually come out. He emailed me back. And he went into like this whole ass paragraph about MIDI stock sounds from Logic and what I should use. And then at the end he said, either way it's a cool piece of music and it's gonna turn out awesome and I'm 
really just being highly picky here because I think that's what you're asking me for, haha. No one else would really care as much. And I'm just gonna take all the good from that and I'm just gonna accept it and I'm just gonna because I was really feeling lost with these strings and horn section. I really, I really, I currently feel lost with them, but like, thank you, thank you, thank you. on Instagram like a week ago. My friend was literally like, hey, you posted exactly a year ago today. Are you ever gonna post again? My intention has always been to post again. I want to create something worth sharing. I don't wanna go out and look for things to share. I know, we were just joking. We were literally just joking and I was like, what if I actually did this? <laughs> So um, it actually lit a fire underneath my eye. Now I really feel the impetus to put this stuff out. I want to get it out before November, December. Like that's my goal. It's not really set in stone. We just, you know, I have some things in progress. Last mix I made was in June. So it's September now. Uh, my camera is going to run out of SD. It's 222, but to me it's 1422. So it's technically not. I finished mixing it this morning, I think. I added two layers of snares hopefully that it sounds better now i'm listening to a podcast on breaking out of the matrix currently and uh, really trying to heal my shadows of thinking i don't deserve something or thinking i'm not good enough for something Think thinking i don't deserve money and success and happiness thinking that i'm not worth those things that everybody else is but me and that's so weird right that is what the way that it is in my head in <clears throat> my internal experience lack of human worth is what i feed myself and i'm working diligently and rigorously to change that and i need to release that song jump over the hurdle of fear just fucking pull vault over just it fucking close my eyes cover my ears hold my breath and run into this and i want to reclaim the eighth dimensional being within me and understand my desires and then focus all my fucking attention on them and bring them into existence and then bring other people up with me and just share and give and love <coughs> speaking of love i'm in a really good relationship right now <laughs> that choice is yours if you're like no i'm gonna work on majesty until i have it perfect and this is going to be my baby for the next like year or so that then that's a valid choice but like the, the the acceleration and the speed is like that you want it to happen i just don't think that's even fair to yourself to expect yeah i just feel like with where music is it's just actually stupid to put out something that sounds like you just started do you know what i mean like the bar is already like i can't come in below the bar when i came out with that first song sonically music was in a much better place like sonically like there was way cleaner music out there 
but I only had the resources to drop what I had the resources to drop. And it was enough for people to get the idea that I'm here and I'm valid as an artist and that, like, I need it, you know? Like, mm. and if majesty needs to be perfect, then, then what if we have, you have to use resources to make it perfect, you know? Like, you have to reach out to people, you have to work with a bunch of different mixing artists until someone has a mix that you like. Mm -hmm. Which is why I am kind of sad that you can't come to I think he would be interested in like mixing style. He has a very clean mix and I feel like a song like would might work for something like that for Majesty. And then you can compare all these things and see what you're most happy with, engineer. Like Yeah, I honestly like that is incredibly like overwhelmingly <sighs> profoundly sweet of you. Oh no, I don't feel like I deserve it. I feel like I have to do everything by myself. No. And like well, but I do. Like, I just feel like I don't deserve that. We're gonna work through that. It's like how you almost wouldn't take splice for me, babe. I think that you're right about everything that you're saying. And, uh, yeah, I, I, you really are. <laughs> it seems very, like, it seems like a no-brainer. It's okay that it's not. It, it's very personal to you. Yeah, I, I, just... I really want, I... I would love to do that. I would love yeah. to do that. Yeah. I might be the biggest problem. something extremely humbling to admit so one of the main reasons if not the main fucking reason that i felt the onus of mixing and and mastering my own album was uh because i thought grimes did that grimes is like known for doing everything herself and i was like fuck same bitch me too. Another big reason was because I, I am anal. I have a very specific thing that I want to hear, even if it's not the one that's most accessible. Even if what I hear is not the, the most popular choice, it's the one that I obviously want. It's my, my creation, it's my baby, and I am God. Just kidding. But you know, like, I'm just scared. And that is really what's at the bottom of it. So anyways, uh, all that to say that I looked it up I said, does Grimes mix her own music? I guess I'd never typed that in. I just sort of assumed. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. But my loving, generous son, god of a boyfriend, connected me with his producer friend, TNBR, and I am going to get it mixed and mastered. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I know, what the fuck? Sometimes you just gotta let something go. Just very specific little things need to be tidied up, and I think a mix a mixer and a proper master will make this song listenable to ears that are not just mine. So I know how to listen to the song, you know what I mean? Like I can filter out the crap because I know what is supposed to be there when I listen, which also makes it very stupid of me to be trying to like perfect it because like I know it, I, I have very biased ears. But anyways, I feel a huge weight lifted knowing that I don't have to mix this. And I also feel like I can get to work on my other songs, which I haven't touched in many months. That the last, the end vocals are not perfect. <laughs> like, oh. I'm just bouncing that so I can send it to the guy so that he can fix that up a little bit because, like, once that is done, mm -hmm. this song has has finally come into existence. This is its final form, and that was something that I had to release. I had to understand it as something very separate from me, not who I am, but something that I just kind of did, like something I 
just wanted to experience was making a song. And like, yeah, it's very personal and deep or whatever, but it's not me. Thank you to TNBR. Thank you to Beatle for introducing me to TNBR. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. And the fact that it is now <laughs> in a form that I would be willing to share that I want, I want you to hear. I'm gonna send in these real quick notes, thank him, and I'm gonna fucking go to bed. You can be in it. I can? Yeah. Funny is, I've literally uploaded this so many fucking times. Wait, this is it? It's happening for real now? Yeah. Wait, can I ask you questions while I'm doing this? Please do. So, so, Spotify just makes my profile, and yes. then I go in and claim yep. it. Yeah. Fuck, my phone's gonna- Oh my god. God, God. Somebody keeps getting in my way of this song. I, maybe that is fur. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> oh. Usually that isn't the answer that comes to mind. Yeah. Oh, this is really important. You're getting a pre-save link, so. When... <gasps> it's two, 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 bro. Oh my God. Oh my God, the cover art. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Have you shown the cover art yet? No. Like, do they know? No, no. Oh my no. God. It's okay, it genre. beautiful. Thank you. Well, what do you consider it? I don't know. Holiday? Yeah. <laughs> you try to be like the next Mariah Carey. Fitness and workout. <laughs> do holiday fitness and workout and Christian then like gospel. gospel. <laughs> ah, I don't know. The hell? Alternative? Isn't that your category? Let's say I'm alternative rock, let's say, right? You could be alternative pop. You could, like, alternative is just... Oh, we should have thought about this, huh? I've been thinking about this. The whole time. Can you hear my newest song? Yes. Okay, it's right here. That's it. That's, That's the sick. whole thing. Music amazing. Thank you. It's gonna be in one store, and it, and that store is gonna be the aquarium. What? Uh. What? Okay. Okay. So done then. We're done. Done. <gasps> it's done. Ooh. What do I do? I say no. Oh, thanks. Get out of here. <laughs> Congratulations. You did Thank it. You. you did it. Thank you. You did it. Thank you for your help. You did it.